Hello students, welcome back. Here we will learn about macromolecule. Specifically, we are going to learn about lipids, proteins and polysaccharides. And this part, it is very much important from examination point of view. So I guess you should have a very keen look on this. So let's start it. So these images explain what we are going to learn. We are going to learn about amino acid. But we have learned about amino acid. We are going to learn about proteins because amino acid, they are the monomers of the protein. We are going to learn about lipids. We are going to learn about polysaccharides also. These are polysaccharides. So the part macromolecule, we will learn about these three factor in this part. So I guess we shouldn't waste time. Lipids first. Lipids, they are made up of fats and its derivative. I have already explained to you fatty acids in the micromolecule part. In this fatty acid plus something else that makes lipids that can be some derivative William uh, William Bloor is the person who used the lipid term for the first he gave the lipid term and now the categorization classification of the lipid it has been categorized into three categories simple lipid compound lipid and derived lipid we have learned about simple lipid which is a part of micromolecule in which we learn about fats and waxes in the macromolecule part, we are going to learn about compound lipid and derived lipid. Compound lipid is what? It is ester of fatty acid and alcohol contain other group also. Fatty acid plus other group. Other group is what? Alcohol. And that can be other derivative also. And derived it is composed of hydrocarbon ring and a long hydrocarbon side chain. So that can be even more compli complicated than the compound lipid. So let's study about compound lipids first but categorization comes first. Compound lipid categorized into phospholipid and glycolipid. Phospholipid further categorized into on the basis of which group, which specific group is present. Lecithin, cephalin and sphingolipid. And in glycolipid we will learn about ganglioxides. So let's study about the phospholipid. The phospholipid as I told you the categorization it is made up of two fatty acid glycerol phosphoric group and nitrogenous compound and it is amphipathic, amphipathic amphipathic means it consists of both group one is hydrophobic water fearing and one is hydrophobic water loving so it consists of both kind of group that is why it is amphipathic this is structure of phospholipid in which Two fatty acid, these this is two fatty acid plus one glycerol, this green, dark green, this is glycerol, and then phosphoric group, phosphoric group here, phosphate group, and then nitrogenous compound, choline shown over here. This is nitrogenous compound. And which compound is this? Phospholipid types. We are going to learn types of phospholipid. One is lecithin. This is lecithin. Lecithin is what? This one, where choline is present this compound and positive inside location where it is present it is present in egg yolk, egg yolk oil seeds and blood etc work it is helpful in transportation mainly to work a uh, work in transportation and then cephalin next cephalin also known as ethanolamine also known as ethanolamine Location, it is present in nervous tissue, egg yolk and blood platelets and why it is known as ethanolamine because the group which is present, the yes, the group which is present with it, nitrogenous compound I am talking about, this is ethanolamine and this is the structure of cephalin. Internally glycerol group, here it is present. Next phospholipid is sphingolipid.